We're gonna tie another popsicle fly here. When it's dry and finished, it's gonna look like this. When it's wet, it will look like this. We're gonna start off with a mustad hook. Get these on eBay, 96.72, size two streamer hook. I'm gonna do this kind of fast because I can't really upload more than a six minute video. And first things first, we're going to take some non-toxic lead wire and wrap the shank. This is a fly I use for steelhead and striped bass. You can use it for largemouth bass as well. And you want to get this fly down, thus I am going to be putting on this weight. You can absolutely use a heavy dumbbell eye, and right now I'm using Danville flat waxed nylon. Instead of using a heavy lead eye, I'm just going to use large bead chain. You can get this at your local True Value store. You can get this from the Babies R Us Venetian Blinds if no one's looking. And that's it right there. Next, we're going to take Marabou. We're going to take Orvis Strong Chartreuse. And we're going to take Hairline Dubbing Cerise. You can use any colors. I like to do two-tone. And first, we're going to take this nice light plume and you want to get something that's soft and bendable. I'm not too concerned about how this is going to look when I tie it down because when this fly is wet it's going to look completely different. Wrap with the fibers going backwards forward. You can swing this fly, you can dead drift this fly, you can strip this fly. You can make this to look like bait fish, baby Bluegills, baby, anything you want. This color is just nice and bright. It's easy for me to see, and hopefully maybe I can get a, a snakehead to eat this eventually. All right, so you wrap that up. you got the stem, stem of the feather. Wrap it a couple times. And like I said, I don't care if that's going to be messy right here because we're going to be wrapping over this. The one problem with tying these flies is it makes a mess. I've got all of this just lying around from my previous tying. So just want to grab the tip here. How's the lighting on this, by the way? I'm at the kitchen table. Okay. Try and get those fibers to stick backwards and just wrap again. Remember when I said I don't really care how these fibers look? Well, you're going to see why now because they're going to be completely covered up. Try and move that forward. I really like these ones right here. Those are nice and webby. Those are going to undulate in the water. And that is going to hopefully drive the fish crazy enough that they're going to bite this fly. Cut that chunk off right here. This is a fly tied for the fish, not for the fly fisherman. Probably won't see this in a fly shop because it's kind of messy but I'm not trying to catch people's eyes. I'm trying to catch fish. Caught a nice steelhead on the Chagrin River in Ohio last Christmas. I'm be catching some schoolie stripers on the Potomac with this in a couple weeks, and then again in later in the season. Now I'm just gonna wrap a little piece over that dumbbell eye. Just tie it down. We'll catch some nice largemouth off the drift boat with this on the local lakes. It's all big and poofy, so you're going to want to have a, you know, a big fly box for these. Let me get that little stem off of there. And that's it. That's the fly. We're going to just do a little knot there. A little slow motion. Bloop. There you have it. That's a popsicle. I call it the stripe of popsicle. When it's in the water, it's going to flip over like that. And uh, it's a pretty killer fly. Any color combinations you want. Go for it. All right.